Welcome back to Weather for Weather Geeks. This is the Wednesday evening edition here on May the 4th. Yesterday we did not do Weather for Weather Geeks because we did a, a live stream uh, from about 7 o'clock or so through about 8 o'clock or so with uh, some severe weather moving through parts of the region. Now, thankfully, we were mostly spared uh, yesterday evening. Uh, we had a uh, you know an elevated severe weather risk, but didn't really materialize in most of our area. We had a pocket of strong winds in southern Columbiana County for a while. But for the most part, our area was spared. We had severe weather to our west and to our south. Long stretch of hail and wind damage across the I-70 corridor from Columbus through Cambridge and Zanesville. Heading over towards Wheeling, even a funnel cloud was uh, reported uh, near the Wheeling area. Now off to our west, uh, the Weather Service in Cleveland did do a storm survey today and found evidence of uh, tornado damage. Uh, this was... Uh, well west of Cleveland, uh, we're talking about uh, Huron County here near Monroeville. Uh, pre preliminarily an F1 tornado, EF1 tornado, um, southwest of Monroeville, about 90 mile per hour winds, uh, maximum width of about 50 yards, and this was about 638 last evening. This was the cluster of storms that prompted the Weather Service to expand the tornado watch to a tier of counties farther to the north, so it did include Trumbull and Mahoning. Uh, the reason why that watch was expanded northward because this cluster was showing some signs of rotation and in fact it did briefly drop a tornado uh, for a time early yesterday evening. All right we're four days into the month of May now for the month so far we're a little above average temperature wise but that's because the nights have not been very cool the days have been pretty chilly after a, an above average high on the first day of the month on on uh, Sunday we got to 71 that day uh, so far it's been pretty cool this week in fact the 61 today that was a pre-dawn high. We, we were in the 50s during the daylight hours today, thanks to a thick blanket of clouds. Now, precipitation-wise, through the force, first uh, four days of the month at the Youngstown Warren Airport, we're up to 1.05. That's a little more than a half an inch above the average. We had about a quarter of an inch officially at the airport yesterday. All right, our clouds have been, as expected, persistent. Today, this is a 12-hour loop of the Visible satellite showing all the cloudiness. At the very end of the loop, you'll notice from uh, north to south across Lake Erie, we're starting to see some clearing. And that clearing will try to work in as we go through the overnight tonight. In the meantime, it's another uh, busy evening for forecasters out in the middle of the country. Tornado watches are out for parts of uh, Texas and Oklahoma. No surprise. Now, you know, it's May. This is what you expect. The kind of tornado hot spots in the month of May tend to be from the central plains down into the southern plains, including a lot of Texas, and then a little eastward into parts of the Midwest and, and Ohio Valley as well. Typically, as we transition into very late spring and early summer, these tornado risk areas start shifting to the north and somewhat to the east as well. And you know, we kind of think of June around here as kind of our peak month for tornado possibilities. Last year, we had tornadoes. In fact, one of our busiest severe weather outbreaks was in October last year. So that was a little abnormal. Typically, we kind of see a peak in tornado activity or at least potential tornadic activity uh, during the very end of spring and early in the summer in our part of Ohio and Pennsylvania. All right, tomorrow's going to be a decent day. I think there'll be a veil of cirrus clouds around, but these will be thinner and higher than the stratocumulus clouds that we had overhead today. So overall, just yeah, better day. This will be a day to mow the grass, get outdoors, and uh, take care of those outdoor uh, projects if you can because we've got a couple of clunkers heading our way by Friday and Saturday as a slow-moving area of low pressure trudges through. This will just be a, a borderline washout Friday. It probably doesn't rain every hour of the day, but steady rain from time to time on Friday. Maybe a clap of thunder in the afternoon. I think thunder is more likely in the warm sector, which will probably stay mostly to our south. So this is kind of a cool day Friday. And speaking of cool weather, you know we're going to be hard-pressed to get above 60 on Saturday with a pretty good chance of rain from time to time once again as we kick off the weekend. Now, I'm not real concerned about flooding because this isn't all coming at one time. Ignore how our... Uh, in-house uh, GRAF graph model kind of takes a nosedive, nosedive here Saturday. That's because It does this graphically because that model only runs out through early Saturday afternoon, not all the way through Saturday evening. So because the model stops at some point, well, the, graphically, the, the line nosedives. Ignore that. Pay attention to where these lines kind of peak. And you, you can see our models here are all advertising more than an inch worth of rain between late tomorrow night and Saturday evening. So yeah, pretty good drink of water coming our way, but it's coming over a 48-hour time frame, so 
I, I wouldn't be real concerned about widespread flooding problems with that. Good news for Mother's Day. Uh, it's going to turn into a better day. I think it'll be a mostly sunny afternoon and temperatures will be pretty close to where they should be at this time of the year. Maybe a couple of degrees shy of average, but still we'll get into the mid-60s. It looks like Sunday afternoon. All right, this is what we like to see. Check out the 6 to 10 day outlook today from the Climate Prediction Center. These deep reds, basically a mortal lock, a guarantee that this stretch of weather will be warmer than average and by a fair margin, it looks like. We're going to be pushing 80 by the middle of next week, and we'll probably get above 80 for at least a couple of days. If not Tuesday, then probably Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, maybe even Saturday as well. So we're talking a week from now and heading into that following weekend. It does look pretty balmy. This will be the most consistently warm stretch of the season and of 2022 so far. So we should have plenty of nice weather to enjoy, it looks like next week. In the meantime, thanks for watching tonight's Weather for Weather Geeks. I'll have an updated weekend forecast and everything else you need to know. Same time, same place on Thursday.